morning world. I unloaded this morning in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and now my nose is pointed west, back towards Kenora, Ontario. There's a load there waiting for me. I'm gonna put it on my trailer. I'm gonna put a tarp over it. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my trailer, then I'm gonna tie it down. Then I'm gonna put a tarp over it. Bungee that tarp down. We're gonna take that load down to Minnesota. Someone there is waiting for it. I wanna deliver that first thing tomorrow morning. here in Ignis. I was kind of reluctant to stop but I really had to go to the bathroom and I wanted to get some subway because I was hungry. I was in a really good group of guys that were going at a good speed. You get caught behind the wrong guys on a two-lane highway like this when it's snowing a little bit it could double the time for you to get to your destination. So looks like the plows have just gone through town here. Here goes another one. So I'm gonna get out there on the road before anyone who's doesn't quite know what they're doing in winter gets in front of me. I mean, they might already be in front of me, I don't know, but you never know. It's just some guy, some people, guys, men and women, some people just shouldn't be on the road when there's snow on the road. So they just, you can tell by the way they're driving, they don't know what they're doing. It makes me very nervous being behind them. So with that being said, let's get out there. I don't have time for a long break anyway. I am on a tight schedule. They're waiting for me in Kenora, and this snow is going to slow me down. I didn't have much time to play with either. All right, Mr. Dodge, it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Continue on this road for 234 kilometers. usually be about two and a half hours. We'll see how long it takes today.
we got stuck in a whole bunch of traffic. Now we're in Dryden, Ontario. And we're not going to make our appointment now. Somebody in front of us decided to have an accident. Walked off the whole highway for about half an hour. It actually wasn't that long. I'm still kind of hoping I'll get loaded today. But the answer has already been that, yeah, we'll probably do it in the morning. But I'm still going to show up there and see what happens. I'd like to get loaded today if I can, but with this weather and with all of this traffic now, this traffic was backed up for miles, so there's miles of traffic in front of me now. And uh, it's really slowing things down. So it's kind of disappointing, kind of a disappointing week. But we had such a good start to the month going to Texas and back, and then this week, well, I, I got sick over the weekend. And then I just couldn't make up the miles the rest of the week. That guy's dragging his front axle on his trailer. Brakes are frozen. I wonder how long that's been dragging. It's gonna have a big flat spot on those tires. Obviously they're making an exception. I just don't know if they're already there. But probably because of the weather, they know that the weather hasn't been that great. And I was legitimately trying to get here on time and I got held up. It wasn't my fault. I'm probably willing to stretch the appointment time for me. I really appreciate that. This saved me a lot. and help me get two more loads in this week yet and I get paid by the load so that's two more paychecks this week it's fantastic news I just hope that there's no more delays I really hope there's no more delays fantastic what was I just saying about no more delays I am literally five miles from the shipper. Looks like traffic is still moving. I don't know if it's gonna to come to a complete standstill here yet. I sure hope there wasn't another accident that's blocking all of traffic. Ah, so close. This highway is so bad. There's always accidents. It's so busy. Like, look at all these trucks. Constantly. All day and night. That's how much traffic there is. It's the only trade route from east to west in Canada. So all freight comes through this one little road. And if anything goes wrong, everybody's day is ruined. Everyone. Creep 
skipping forward. I just need five more miles. This is the worst part of winter. A lot of people going too fast. A lot of people driving on the snow and ice that shouldn't be driving on the snow and ice. A lot of people driving that shouldn't be driving, period. They all seem to congregate on this highway. And it makes sense because it's the only highway. There's no other option. So of course you're going to get everybody, the good and the bad. And that means 100% of the bad drivers will be on this road. There's nowhere else to send them. We all got to share this one little two lane. All it takes is one bad driver to mess up everybody's day. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gaining some speed here. Missed my gear because of my Jake brake. I'm coming. So what's going on? Maybe it's at the bottom of this hill. can't tell oh maybe just a snow plow okay well if it's a snow plow I forgive them you know I'm, I'm glad that yeah it's a, it's a plow okay that's okay snow plows are our friends thank you very much I don't know why traffic came to a stop but gonna scooch on past you here bud. Just gonna scooch past you. been such a day of ups and downs so I got here now and apparently everyone else was delayed as well there's one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> trucks in front of me to get loaded yet right at the end of their day it's four o'clock right now no 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 it's 4 30 right now and uh, they only they're only here till seven and they can't load right till seven. They have to spend about a half hour doing uh, paperwork and stuff. So probably about another two hours of loading, I'm thinking, and they gotta get eight trucks done before they get to me. Now they're all easy loads, just lumber. So we should be able to bing, bang, boom them out of here, right? But then all of these guys gotta tarp their loads yet in front of me. So I'm not getting out of here for a long, long, long time. <sighs> That's winter for you, hey? That's winter. 
constant problems. Well, that was a busy, busy day. Look at my glasses. So it's the next day and I just stopped for a nap. It's already dark outside. I haven't even started tomorrow's video yet. Man, I just stopped here for a nap because man, I had quite the day, quite the busy day. So we last left off, and we were trying to get loaded, right? And we weren't quite sure if it was gonna work or not. Well, the first problem was that uh, I had, what about, 10 people in front of me. Long story short, we did get loaded. I did get it tarped and we made it all the way down to Brainerd. I had about three minutes left on my clock. By the time I got there, I was so tired. So I woke up first thing in the morning and we got the trailer unloaded. And then I rushed over to Duluth, Minnesota here and picked up my next load. And it was all such a rush that I didn't even have a chance to say hi to you guys yet, or bye from yesterday's or today's video. So I'm gonna wrap this up here and uh, just apologize that the story is kind of broken. And that's the way I go sometimes. Sometimes it's just so rushed, you don't got any time for anything else. But I'll see you tomorrow anyways, in my next video. I hope you take care and uh, touch base then.